Hey guys, Charles Powers from The Game Fanatics here with a unique and slightly different product. So my wife and I, we just bought our first home and one of the hardest decisions unbeknownst to us was picking a freaking couch. Love seats, sofas, sectionals, colors, fabrics, style. We spent weeks researching until we, and by we, I mean I, came across the one. Meet Burrow. A couple of things sold me on the Burrow couch. The style, the color, the return policy, the stain resistant fabric, the hidden USB hub, and probably most important of all, the price. So I was sold. Now I, in turn, had to sell my wife on it. It went pretty well. And so here's my review of the Burrow couch. If you've heard of the mattress in a box company such as Casper, Purple, or Tough to Needle, then the concept of a couch in a box slash direct to consumer model should be pretty familiar. The Burrow couch arrived in four boxes. I was able to move them from the front door to the garage and subsequently the living room without much help but it'll definitely take two people to move these up some stairs. As for when it came time to put the burrow together, I needed zero tools. Let me repeat, zero tools. This is easily the least complex piece of furniture I've ever had to assemble. Though the sofa arrived in multiple boxes, the essential pieces are pre-assembled, the back, bottom, and cushions, so you simply align the pieces, lock them in place with the industrial latches, and you're pretty much done. My wife and I completed the assembly in about 15 minutes, and as I think back on it, I still can't believe it. I'd include the full regular speed video, but who wants to sit through 15 minutes of a husband and wife putting together furniture? Babe, that's not what the direction says. Baby, pass me the drill. I got this. I got this. Seriously though, the assembly was a breeze. The Burrow couch was designed by an award-winning furniture designer and for me, that was pretty cool because one of the challenges of picking a couch is settling on a design. The couch looks stunning. This is the charcoal gray color. There's crushed gravel, beige, navy blue, and brick red. The sofa also features chemical-free fabric and contains high-density foam core to help the cushions maintain their shape over time. The USB slash power is a power cube that attaches to the bottom of the couch. It has two USB ports and three AC outlets. Because the couch blocks two of my outlets, this convenience factor is a pretty nice addition. Being 6'4", I wanted something I could lay down comfortably on when it came time to sprawl out. Yet something firm I could sit up against in the heat of battle. I was pleasantly surprised at how well the burrow couch allowed for both. My wife and I have logged several hours of playing games and watching movies on our burrow couch and for that it is phenomenal. The cushions feel firm yet soft so you don't sink in but it's plush enough to where you don't feel like you're sitting on a lawn chair. That being said though, don't skimp on throw pillows, they made our sofa much more comfortable. The angle of the backrest is a little too low for me so I needed a few of those pillows when I set up to game. My wife on the other hand said it was perfect for her. And as far as the seat depth, it got no complaints from either of us. Though we did not extensively test the couch's stain resistance, because I'm rather clumsy by nature, I've spilled some lemonade, sorry Yonsei, some tea, sorry Kermit, and some Chick-fil-A sauce, sorry Sauce God, on the sofa, and I'll be damned, there's zero trace of said mishaps. So the sofa has seen a lot of action, and it's holding up quite well. In short, the burrow couch is a work of craftsmanship. Is it possible to fall in love with a piece of furniture? I'd argue that it is. Everything from the initial assembly to the comfort and functionality of the Burrow couch made it the perfect couch for my wife and I. As for the pricing, the Burrow starts out at $550 for the one-seater and tops out at around $1,100 for the four-seater. Reasonable pricing for some quality furniture. I'd hope to see corner pieces and ottomans, maybe even a few throws, rugs, and other furniture as well. I was so pleased with my experience, I'm ready to furnish my entire living room with Burrow furniture. That wraps up my review of the Burrow couch. Like I said, a few weeks in and my wife and I were loving it, man. If you're thinking about picking up one of these couches or if there's anything I can help clarify that I maybe didn't get into enough detail about, please drop a comment below and I'll respond as soon as I can. Be sure to check out thegamefanatics.com for the full written review and for all things geek culture. 
Until next time, keep calm and game on.